Hello everybody, well, it's been a while since I've done a video, it's been a long time, so, I thought we'd do a video on something that's awesome. You might remember my high pressure day for a what light, remember? Um, well, what I did, um, in last week was I, um, it, the, it had stickers, and the stickers got well worn from years of age. Um, I had the high pressure light for probably two years now, and I thought I'd, remember, I'm going to tell you this, year I removed the old stickers, uh, I got it all off, nice sanding and scraping needed, but I yeah, got it done. So, I'm going to show you the light after its new look. There it is. I press the same light after its upgrade. I call it, you can call it, I call it the Mentalist Supremo. Um, so this is the light after the upgrade. As you can see, I put stars on it, I put uh, wings on the sides, and I painted it. I feel like it's a I painted the whole fixture red. Yeah, all except for the reflector. I didn't think it would reflect light well. So I just painted the reflector yellow. You can't see it very well. It looks kind of white because of the yellow light I have in here. But it, but it but it's yellow, alright. It is yellow. Um and of course there's the bulb. Um however this took us this was very hard to do, but I got it done. There was a lot of scraping and sanding, but it's done. So well you can see the reflector there, it looks white but it is yellow. If you like I can grab a white light. Get my white light here, this thing here, and we'll fire it up and you'll be able to see the reflector. See it is yellow. Okay. And yeah, now you can see you're probably wondering why that little black thing there, this thing is. Those on the side, those are to hold those wings on. Now it's still not finished yet, it's still got a little bit more to go. I've got to get a switch for it and um, stuff. So we'll take a look at the back, you see there's wood holding the wings on. And there's also wood holding the stars on. See they're screwed on to the top there with those three little brackets. That's holding it together. Good idea to put the light together. Now this is the most coolest design, light design I've ever done. It's very cool. And it's still high pressure stone 400 watt. You can see there's the bulb, it's a coated bulb. You can see the base, E40, um, and of course it's got, it's got four stars and a couple of wings. So I drew, I actually drew those wings and the stars up. I drew them up, I used the ruler, um, it, was one, it was easy to do, I got it done. So this is Mentalist Supremo, and we'll fire him up. We won't have him on for very long, we'll just turn him on just for a few, just for a little bit of demonstration. Now this does not have a switch, I have it wired up without the switch for the time being. Um, with the switch, I'm putting it on the back. It used to be at the bottom, but not anymore. It's going to be on the back. So it might. Yeah, I'll show you the switch in another video when I do another. If I do another video on this light, after I get it all finished up, I got to get the get more wood to hold those wings. I'm going to have with blue tack for the time being until I get more wood. It's actually used. I'm using wood to hold it on. Okay, so we'll fire it up. Here we go. There we go. Now you can see the bulb looks white on camera, but it it will reflect, turn orange. The reason I painted the reflector yellow is because high pressure does emit an orange light, and I thought the yellow reflector would go good with it. Now the bulb's turning orange. You can see the reflector more better now. And you can see a little bit bits of the old stickers. Not all the stick old. Not all the old stickers came off um, during the sanding process, but I got it, managed to get a little bit. Good. I managed to get it off as best as I can. Before I could upgrade it, you can hear the bellus coming easily. Yeah, it still operates fine. Um, I do have a tubuline sodium bulb. I did have a 400 watt tubuline sodium bulb, but I dropped it, and the well, I dropped it, it fell off my shelf. But and the good thing is the outer, well there was good news and bad news about that. The bad good news is the outer glass didn't break, but the arc bad news is the support for the arc tube broke, so I had to get rid of it. All I have left is the re-strike one, which is a 250 watt. I don't really burn that bulb in this fitting because it's a 400 watt ballast. It's get, that could, this ballast will seriously overdrive, overdrive it like crazy, but I can run it in here. Okay, now we'll turn it off. There we go. That's okay, so that's my sodium light after the upgrade. 
Oh, the bulb's hot. It got pretty warm after it only being on for just a minute. Yeah, they get very hot. Okay, nearly all my lights have been up. Nearly all my lights are paint upgrades now. The only light I have left to upgrade is the mercury lamp. This is the last light I got upgrade, and then all my lights will be upgrade to paint. Okay, so almost all my lights have gotten a paint upgrade. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's the Mentalist Supremo, and that'll be it.